<laughs> hey everybody, uh, it's Karen from Order 4 Collects back again. Uh, sorry for getting all sappy on you at the end of that last video. What can I say? I'm, I wear my heart in my sleep. So, uh, anyway, um, I put away the Mr. Stripey guy to to cure and I have some paint left and I never really did get to do just like a flip cup um, to see how the cells would be um, with the golden porn PM. And so I have this cute little, just lost the push pin, um, round and leftover paint from that previous video. So I thought, as I push that in, um, let's do another little pour real quick. And get your way down here, close like that. Here's my white. Do I need all that white? I don't need that much white. And just half the amount. White. And let's change up the order. Let's do white. And do the blue. And then the bronze. And the black. And some gold. I think I'm low on turquoise. Yep, just enough. There's enough paint, probably need a little bit more. So let's just start over with the blue. And oh, we got some bronze. And maybe just a dollop more of gold. That should do it. There we go, way better at time. Let's see how this stuff is. I was so chatty in the last video I didn't get to tell you guys that uh, my other big news is that I'm retiring at the end of June. And I'm super excited about that because it means as my daughter, you know, finishes middle school in seventh and eighth grade, I will be home for her activities and to keep her occupied and busy and productive because at that age, idleness is the enemy, for sure. And I want to be around. I just, you know, she and I, like, have a lot of conversations now. Everyone says, oh, you need to be home when your baby's little. And I'm of the opinion, like, no, -uh, you need to be home for those tween years. For all those conversations, I'm telling you. She, uh, she had her first case of puppy love for an entire week. She was boyfriend and girlfriend with a, well, one of the very few um, male figure skaters. And uh, look at all that gold, pretty. And for an entire week, they were boyfriend and girlfriend. And then like one Thursday, they pro professed their love for each other and they kissed each other on the cheek. And they like snuck to the back of the ice skating facility to do it. <laughs> I was very solemn and serious. Don't get me wrong, but um, it was it was cute. Um, and the next day he broke up with her, and he did it by walking up to her and say, "Yeah, I'm breaking up with you," <laughs> which I, I know I shouldn't laugh, but just the way he did it was was, you know, from a distance remembering back to my own youth, um, kind of comical. I was very, um, you know, she was mad. 
and she thought they were going to be together and get married when they were 30. And I'm like, Chloe, middle school, if you make it two weeks with dating someone, that's a long time. So she kind of, she got over it in a couple days. All right, using the old Mac Daddy here, way up high. second to settle. I just remember like being her age and this kid down the street that had the biggest crush on, his name was Andy. Andy one time let me have a Coca -Cola, one of his like personal Coca-Cola bottles. And I remember running home um, from the softball field to tell my mom like, oh my God, Andy and I are in love. Which is really kind of comical. So. Got a giant cluster, like in a good way, not, you know, not that kind of cluster. <gasps> People. Uh, let me see if you can spread that little cluster out. You get the gold to meet up with this light blue. And then I have to, Oh, that light blue looks ridiculous. Let's turn that off. Maybe break up some of that cluster a little bit. You're just a little bit too big and come out this way. Okay, Julie. Julie cuts. I bow to your wisdom. Look at this. She I don't even know she I'll have to like send her a message. And say, oh my God, you were right with the torch. Because I said, I don't believe you in the last video. I take it all back, Julie. Totally. Because this looks amazing. Except for like the one. <laughs> you know me, because I'm picky. Doesn't that look like um, a man's uh, footprint in the sand? I should kind of leave that right. And this one actually looks like a dog print right there. Like people are walking in the sand right there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that because that, that uh, I find that humorous. So, don't wanna do anything else? I think I, uh, I stop while I'm ahead, right? <gasps> oh, I missed the whole side over here. In here, oh crap. I don't wanna tilt anything. Maybe tilt the, those white cells off, you think? Yeah, let's do that. They can go, that can be the sacrifice over the side. Bye-bye, white cells. Off you go and come back. All right, that gave me coverage too. And where else am I not covered? Can you see? Oh, there's a spot right there, right? I need to do something, pull the gold down. Do that just a little. Did that do it? Enough? All right, now my footprints are getting too big and I don't like them. See, I'm gonna end up ruining this if I keep playing. But yeah, I don't like that now. Hmm. 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 I'm gonna play. Cells are keeping their shape though. All right, that's better. Let's stop where, well, we're ahead. Except for over here, <laughs> I'm such a liar. Oh my goodness. All right, off you go. All right. All right, that, uh, let me bring that up. That's uh, pretty freaking spectacular is what that is. So, yeah. Uh, 
Let me see if I have something else to pour on because I still have enough paint. I can pour over, I have a little round that's kind of boring. So let me get a, let me um, rearrange and move Mr. Big Round off to the side somewhere safe and get Mr. Little Round. You come over here, you're, you're awesome sauce. And then I'm, I'm gonna have to do some dips or something or like use this for balloon smash because that's a lot of paint. So maybe we'll just, you know, just film and play, right? So, what do I have? I have this little round here. He's kind of boring, nothing, nothing special. No cells or anything. Let me take him and gosh, I wonder if I have, let's, uh, let's be adventurous and I'm going to scoop up some paint and I'm going to put it in my cup because it doesn't look particularly muddy and this thing is kind of small. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we're going to flip cup it and just leave it sit there for a second. And then, well, now I just muddied up that area. What else don't I like? Oh, I have another round, too. That was a failed pour that looked like a dragon, but then it got all mottled and ugly. So let's do him as well. And for him, Let's take remaining white. I like that order. Let's do that again. So I did the white and the blue. All right, bye bye blue. Oh, the other thing that really made my daughter mad, going back to my daughter's puppy love, is that the, the kid did it in front of a bunch of people instead of in private. And I'm like, yeah, that's kind of a jerk move right there. Like you do that in private and don't embarrass people in public like that. So that's one of the reasons why she was so mad. And then um, the other thing was later on, he, he told her he might be gay. And she was just like, what? <laughs> and I said, well, Chloe, you're, you're not really going to know if it's an excuse or it's for real. You know, I guess you'll see over time by who he's dating or hanging out with. But, you know, you kind of got to take him on his word. But she was all like, that's ridiculous. I'm like, what? Yeah, love is love. So just, you know, got to take him at his word. And then she said something like, well, that's not fair, he gets to choose. I'm like, I don't think they choose, Chloe. So then we had to have that whole big talk. So it just solidified in my mind that, yep, I need to be home for the teenage years, for sure. And then like my husband made us go to like some financial advisor guy. And um, I'd been with my company nearly 30 years. So he was like, uh, yeah, you can pretty much take out your pension and all you have to do is work at McDonald's or Starbucks and make $20,000 a year and you'll be fine. <laughs> and once I heard that, I'm like, done. I mean, I'd probably go work, you know, be nice to just sell art and make that kind of money, right? All right, let's do the one cup. But anyway, I'm very excited, taking the summer off before I go back to do something part-time. This is gonna bother, bother me sitting here. Let me move him out of your view. I am, move him up closer so you can see it. Ready? Let's move him to, I like to hold him. Let's just see what we get with our fun little scooped up bit of paint. I'm gonna sit here. I'm not gonna torch that with the big guy. Where's my regular torch? 
Oh yeah, he's dead. He's totally out of uh, butane, so. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hold on one sec. Seems like overkill for such a little tiny canvas, right? <sighs> Super fast, because <laughs> that's like totally overkill. All right, see if you get anything cute out of this guy. Do I like that white spot? I don't think I do. Yep. I like that spot though, I'll keep that. Everything's a little grayish. I can't tell if it's grayish or it might be the bronze. I think it's the bronze in this. Yeah, it's bronze. And what do I like? And then come down this way. Curve my edge. Oh, that's a um, that's a cool little pour actually. I like the. Uh, I don't like to assign gender to colors, but it's kind of like a masculine little piece, you know what I mean? Like I think a guy would like that, and oh my God, that sounds so sexist, but it's true. All of the paintings that I've ever done with like copper and blues have been bought by men. That's all I'm saying, they have, every single time. So yeah, that's a keeper, that's pretty. Mm. Oh, close up, did I give you a close up? I forgot. I'll give you another one in case I haven't. So there's that guy. Pretty, right? All right, let's see the next guy. I'm gonna get rid of the cup a second. Oh, look at the bronze, honey. Yeah, I can do something with the bronze. Look at that blue with the white. It's like uh, Arctic blue. Hmm, sorry I have my thumb. I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit and then I'll torch it. Oh God, the color. I knew this is my favorite color, one of my favorite color combinations. I don't know if I wanna break out the giant torch for this, right? Like, does it need cells, really? Can we just have it be pretty? I'm just gonna blow on it. See, see bubbles. Not like bubbles that need popped. And it needs tilted off the one end to cover for coverage. Let me do this. I'm gonna put some bronze right there. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna tilt it. I don't not a fond of that. I love this. I like that in the blue cell, but you know it's one cell, so bye bye. Cause there, there's just too much paint on here. And that's a better composition right there. Yep. 
Uh, all right, I guess I'll torch it. Wipe off my hands. Three for three so far. I find the little guys are always way easier to do. Like I can usually crank them out pretty easy. All right. Giant torch. Oh my God, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh my God. Let's try to turn it way down low. I'm not gonna be sorry I torched this one. Probably had a nice pattern just the way it was. We'll see what they look like. I'll give them a second. Yeah, I should have left this one alone. And I spoke too soon. I was all like bragging. Huh, these are easy. I'm three for three. And then look what happens, see? Should just shut up. Just watching it. See, I shouldn't have told it. The com I left the composition before I torched it. It was great. Now I feel like I'm gonna have to uh, stretch it around to make it look decent, because I don't like it like that, for sure. Yep. Like, I don't like this part at all. Too bad. Stretch it out a little, see if that helps. Let me get rid of that like blob of gold. It's like too much gold. Yeah, I'm not liking it. I don't like that one. What am I gonna do about it? I have enough paint for like one more little one. So maybe I balloon smash it and have like a little round with a balloon. Right, that'd be fun. I still like the other guy. The big one is hanging, that's hanging out on the corner is, uh, it's, it's just, it's badass. That's what I'm gonna say it is. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a balloon and just smash that for the hell of it. Cause we're playing. Playtime. Do I have a balloon? In my junk drawer here? I thought I had balloons here. I know I do. I have a Star Wars balloon. Hold on. See, I don't even tie them off. I just kind of blow them up, give them a twist and use them and then rinse them off and deflate them again. Should we do this? How stable is my cup? I guess we'll find out. I wonder if this will do anything. There's one big flower in the middle of this little four inch round. Wow. <gasps> Love that. Done, not touching it. Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. Wow. Yep, all right, let me deflate my, rinse off my balloon and deflate it. That's like perfect. It took off just enough paint and it made cool little lacing cells with the bronze. And I just, that color scheme is the bomb. 
I'm just gonna move him. Let me bring him up to you so you can see like the little bronze area. Isn't that cool? Done. He goes off over here. And then <laughs> I gotta find, I have just enough paint um, that I've been thrown in a cup for one more, maybe two, if I can find some things in here that aren't aren't muddy yet. Like this whole section here is getting muddy. Um, I think I have, do I like this guy? It's kind of boring. Okay, I have a, what is this? A six by six cradle wood piece, but it's kind of boring. So this guy here, he's nothing special. So let's pour on him because I feel like I'm on a roll. Let's hope I have enough paint. So I have my copper. And then I'm out of blue. I'm out of blue. I only have the smallest amount of turquoise left. So this painting is basically, am I out of white? Where's my cup of white? I have a little bit of white. Got, I think this will be it for me guys, because I'm out of paint. Um, I'll throw in the gold. Can you guys see? You can't see because I have the camera low. Sorry. One sack gold. I'm just layering the leftover paints. So I'm doing. Throwing in some gold. Killed that off. I have a little bit of black left. And this is the end of paint. And there's, there's that guy. It's the last one. That's interesting. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's mess it up. The white with the bronze made like um, a salmon color. It's kind of pretty. It's unusual. So torching the caterpillars is from getting too close. It has nothing to do with the torch. So now I'm going back again because with my giant propane torch, I just got a line of caterpillars all the way across. And then a line here. So if you have a little torch, hold it up high, swirl it around. As long as the flame gets out a couple inches, you should be fine. Uh, so basically it's been user user error on my part the whole time pretty much because i think i tend to want to get too close so user error cool color combination bit on the end and stretch out the caterpillars. There. Oh my god, that's gonna bother me. 
Look at that. See it? Oh, we can't have that. We just can't. I like the colors a lot. Very unique. From the white. Yep. We're just going to run through it. Mess it up. Made it too stripey. Yep, don't like that. I just couldn't stand that one caterpillar. Oh well, three for four. I guess I could try to dip it. I'm not a fan of dipping. I think it's because um, I did them a lot when I first started off. Like I did them all the time dipping and swipes so now i'm like i don't want to do them anymore but what the hell since i didn't even bother to tape the back of this let's see what we get maybe it'll be something pretty it's a firestorm with the blue underneath of it all yeah see i'm just not just not a fan um i would rather I love the tiger side. I would rather take my trusty um, palette knife and scoop up paint and spread it around. Let's try that and then I'll let you guys go. Not that I'm keeping you. You can turn me off whenever you want, right? Can you see? All right, this is gorgeous. I'm gonna scoop this up. And we're going to put that back. And kind of run this off this way. Because look at it. Right? And do it again. Over here. Because it's just so gorgeous, I have to try it. This is where patience come in, comes in while you wait for it to run off your uh, tool. Yep, started to run off at the end. Do I have more like that? I think I have a little bit more. And I'll just kind of carry on this way. color on it? No. Well, maybe. Nope. I think if I do it, I need blue. I'm talking to myself. Hold on. Nope. Don't be too muddy. Let me swirl this around. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, I think there's enough to go all the way. She can go all the way, I think. And I'm not gonna torch it, I'm gonna leave it plain, cause that is, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's so, it's very tiger eye.
another second, almost there. I just want to go all the way to that one corner. Did you make it? <gasps> you made it. Let me stare at this one because I think I love it. Yep. It goes this way. It just looks like rocks, like granite. It's cool. That might be, uh, well, that's my second favorite after the flower. Let me wipe off my hands a second. All right, let me uh, do a final zoom in, sneak peek. Oh my God, in the third, another 30 minute video. So there's uh, the last one with this, with uh, my palette knife. That I'd kind of, I'm kind of in love with that. Excuse the mess on the uh, tarp. Um, there's uh, the blue guy with the bronze. I think the bronze is hard to see, but it is there. Like if I, if you guys, whoops. If you guys could see it sideways, you'd see all the bronze. Am I over it? I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Where is it? There it is. That guy there. And then a little balloon smash. So I'm in love with that one. And then the best one of all, the eight inch round right there. That one's just amazing, amazing. So, yeah, two in one night, you guys are gonna be sick of me for sure. Um, I'm gonna take a couple days off, I'm working on some projects, and um, I'll try to film in uh, three or four days from now. Sound good? I'll see you guys then. Take care, bye-bye.